Okay, I'm gonna try and keep this video short and sweet, but I am going to do some problems from the homework. I'm starting with number four because I think it best illustrates the strategy of substitution. So I'm using green for X, red for Y, and uh, let's go ahead and get started. So when we use the strategy of substitution, we change out things that are the same. So since Y is equal to six, and there's a y in one of my equations, instead of writing 3x minus y, I can write 3x minus six, and then go about solving that equation for x. Add six to both sides, then divide both sides by three. So x is equal to two. So my solution to this system of equations is the ordered pair two, six. And that solution, that ordered pair, represents the intersection of those two lines in the coordinate plane. Next we'll do number one because it's a little bit more difficult and it better reflects the type of substitution that we're trying to learn. Here I've left the x minus 3 in red to indicate that it's just substituting in for y. Since y equal to x minus 3 is given in the first equation, we can exchange the value of y with x minus 3 in the second equation then simplify, combine like terms, and solve. Adding three to both sides gives five x equals 35. Dividing both sides by five gives x equals seven. Now since I know that x is equal to seven, I can use that value in either of the first two equations to find the value of y. Again, by using substitution. Instead of writing y equals x minus three, I'll write y equals seven minus three. And of course, seven minus three is equal to four. So the solution to this system is the ordered pair, seven, four. You'll often have to solve one equation or reorder it so that substitution is possible, as in this example. By adding x to both sides of the first equation, we can show that y is equal to one plus x. Now, since y is equal to one plus x, we can use it as a substitution into the second equation. Instead of writing two x plus y equals negative two, we write two x plus one plus x equals negative two. Combine like terms and solve. Subtracting one from each side shows that three x is equal to negative three. So x must be equal to negative one. And since x is equal to negative one, we can use negative one as a substitution into either equation to find the value of y. So instead of writing y equals one plus x, we write y equals one plus negative one to show that y is equal to zero. So the solution to our system is negative one for x and zero for y.